Is it is it still a little loud? Yeah, I think it's still that a notch. <sighs> Hello everyone. Raven Monday Neo Zero Laura. Okay, okay. Thank you for subbing for 21 months, Neo Zero. How are y'all doing? We finished Hidamari Sketch on the server yesterday after watching that since like January. It was nice to rewatch it. I think that it was maybe not as mega life impacting as it was the first time around, but I would still say it's like a maybe like top 10, top 15 show for me. Season 1. If it was only season 1, it would be like top 5. But <clears throat> it's so sad that they all die at the end. It's tragic. It's one way to graduate. Uh, well, hope you're all having a nice day. A nice Saturday. I just ate half of a pizza that I had left over from yesterday. I feel a little sick, <laughs> honestly. From the pizza, not as like a general rule. Yeah. I'm excited to play more Tomb Raider 2 today, even if um, I was getting a little bit grumpy with it last week. With that Opera House level, very confusing. <laughs> very, very difficult to figure out what to do. Uh, who knows what the future has in store. A little bit grunty. Urgh. Urgh. I don't, uh, I don't uh, like that. Uh, uh. That's my grunt. Wow. Got a half of a cup of coffee here to perk me up a little bit. Get me out of the sleepy. so nice here for the past like a uh, week or so it's been like ridiculously almost summer weather like early summer weather and everything is beautiful and blooming and there's bumblebees and birds and little bunny rabbits absolutely everywhere so i've been going out for a nice walk uh probably like four or five times a week just getting like a mile at least in. It's so good for you. It makes me feel so much better every time I do it. <laughs> I really want to get a bike too. I know I've been talking about this for quite a while now, but I I must get one. And just the excitement of being able to move around all nimble and like fast and go exploring, being able to go like 10 times farther is like very exciting. Are there lots of wolves? Oh, everywhere. They're always following me around. They're becoming my friends. Hello, puppy doll. And eight lives. Welcome. Well. I feel like playing some of those, what are they, Simon Tatham? I feel like playing some of that. Eight lives appearing just made me think about that. Let's get this up on the screen. Wait for more people to show up. All right, now browser, baby browser. Oh wait, no, it's browser. Oh man, that looks terrible in the capture. Oh well, suffer. Button way too good at the towers one. Towers. This? Complete the Latin square of towers in accordance with the clues. The Latin square of towers? 
build a grid with towers whose heights range from one to the grid size so that every possible height appears exactly once in each row and column so that each clue around the edge counts the number of towers that are visible when looking into the grid from that direction oh no <laughs> oh no uh oh <laughs> there's got to be like a process for this but this sounds terrifying <laughs> Irea. Oh no, not this. <laughs> what do you mean? So you have one of each possible number in the row or column, like Sudoku? Okay. Eight Lives sent this to me during Layton. <laughs> did you have did you have the same reaction? Uh, I've worked it to the 9x9 nine nine ones. Isn't this can't you get this on Linux? Is it uh, I think that this comes pre-installed on some versions of Linux. The the puzzle collection. This is a big sister activity. I don't know if I'm big enough for this. Look at the sheepy. It does look a bit like Chip's challenge, visually. This is a big grandma activity. Shut the hell up. Hello, Soleil. How do you do? I'm getting into my track jacket. It's too warm for my cardigan. I can't. Uh, this is impossible. All right. What is? I remember liking uh, the undead one. I don't know. Not unequal. This guy. I love this one. So, like these are mirrors. These little slanted ones. Those are mirrors. And what is it? The numbers round the grid edges show how many monsters must be visible within your line of sight when you look directly into the grid from that position along a row or column. Zombies are always visible. Ghosts are only visible when reflected in at least one mirror. Vampires are only visible when not reflected in any mirror. To place a monster, click in a square to select it, then type the monster's letter on the keyboard. G for ghost, V for vampire, Z for zombie. Uh-oh. Okay, so nobody should be visible here at all. So that means that there could be vampires. There could be. You don't know. Yeah, there has to be. There must be vampires. No, no, no. That's not actually true. I'm lying to you guys right now. You feel angry about that? There's four from this direction and two from this direction. So that means that there could be... Vampire, vampire, and then ghost or zombie. I actually have no idea how to begin. Oh, oh, here. This is a good way to start right here. You can't see anything from here, but you can from here. So this must be vampire. That's Dracula there. Hello, Nekoway. Hello. Welcome. Why not have a lovely game of Twiddle? I don't know what that is. Graphite, might I also recommend you the games by Everett Kaser Software? What's that? Undead is fantastic, but I ruined it for myself. What'd you do? Intro music is a touch louder than you? Oh no, I intended it to still be on. I'll turn it down a little bit though. It is damn loud. We need a little background music. We can't be just sitting here with no music. Okay, nothing, nothing. Two and zero. So this has got to be vampire, vampire. You got to work with what you can do. You know, does that make sense to you? There's only one zombie. I saw- I played the puzzles so many times I started recognizing all the patterns the randomizer for it was shuffling. Oh no! No. Seems like the music is a little too quiet now. Oh, quick fishy puns. There we go. The sweet spot. Sweet! Remember finding it when looking for Minesweeper. Does this have Minesweeper? 
brown bricks with minesweeper? Um. So, through deductive reasoning, is that deductive? We can tell that there must be at least one character here. So I think that there's either a vampire here, or a ghost or a zombie here. So there might be... Oh, I can only... Uh, oh yeah, so this could be vampire... No, no, it couldn't be, actually. So that cannot be vampire. This could be ghost. Could be... No, it can't be zombie. This could be zombie, this could be ghost. And... This could be vampire. And then we could have three guys here. We'd be able to see three? Yeah, that could be- that could work. We need seven damn pyres in total. How many squares do we have open? One, two, three... Wait, how many monsters do we have? Ten. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Wait. Wait, yeah, so we have- there's a monster in every square. Oh, that certainly makes it, uh... So this must be a vampire then. If there's a monster in every square, and we know that we can't see anything through these damn mirrors here, that must be vampire. No? The music stopped. Come back. You rascal. Graphy 29 mine sweet. Sweet. Oh, it's just Carfi 29 sweet. Okay. I saw a minesweeper below it and I thought it was mine sweet. Use it to test the best ratio of map size and mine amounts. Really? Really? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six in total. And we gotta be able to see. Alright, so that means that the zombie can't be here because we only have one vampire left. So there must be one vampire and one zombie here. So I think this must be zombie. Wait, I, why did I put zombie there? No. Wrong. Get the hell out of there. And where is ghost? I don't know about ghost. This may be ghost. And this vampire and this zombie and this ghost. I did it. I did it. I fooled you. I fooled you. I got pig iron. I got pig iron. I got all pig iron. Did I already greet you, Raven? Mine sweet. Mine sweeter. Alright, we gotta play the real game now. Goodbye, Simon. Is pig iron from Minecraft? Do the... I don't think that the piglins carry iron, do they? The real undead? Pig iron is real. It's just like... What is it? Like, iron with some particular content of like a other element or something? We gotta turn the volume down a tad. Pig iron, pig iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the pig iron on his hip. Pig iron on his hip. That song played on the radio the other day. I was kind of like jump scared by it. It's just a famous song though. Pig iron off his shits. Alright, I got my coffee here. Is it warm, cold enough to drink? Hey, who do you suppose this man is in the background? <clears throat> like, we've got China, and then we got this, like, I don't know, symbol of... Is this, like, a secret society or something? We've been seeing that all over the place. And then there's, like, this guy who's got, like, the super snatched waist. Um, and, like, a gun. And he's got his little hat. Do you think that's a villain of the game? That's Christopher Lloyd and Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Maybe it's Bartoli? He doesn't look like Bartoli. Didn't we see Bartoli in that plane? That cutscene? Oh, 
I want coffee. Do you want this coffee? It's instant. Alright, so last time we did the opera house, that took forever. And we did that, and then we got into Bartoli's plane. And then uh, Lara got found. She was stowing away on Bartoli's little seaplane. And then a guy, a thug, a goon, found her and knocked her out. And then they took her to a oil rig. So now we'll be on an oil rig. Hello, Baxter Crook. Yeah, I will drink that. And then Monday says she doesn't want that coffee. And then Rhea just follows what she says. We all know who the Alpha is here. She was lost the Croft, but now she's found the Croft. There it is. That's oil rig. Uh, we lost all of our guns, which sucks because we got a grenade launcher in the last level. We have our ammo, though. And we have healing items, which is kind of sucks because we don't have many of them. Alright, we are in captivity. I think I can pull on this. Wait, we gotta see what the- what does the HD graphics look like? I mean, it kinda looks like, um... What is that? The Half-Life remake? Oh, that has glass in it. <laughs> in the- the remastered graphics, instead of just being open bars that Lara could easily walk through. Oh, glass! <laughs> Black Mesa? Yeah, that. No, no! Stop! <laughs> no, she does the entire pushing animation. Graffy, do you know what some breads to keep me warm is from? What the fuck are you talking about? I wonder, can I move any of the other blocks in that room? Rhea is getting involved in a secret society. I could see her doing that. I cannot move that. I can move that. But how does one go about performing that action? How do I take action regarding that individual? <laughs> I'm looking for where some breads to keep me warm is from. Do you know of any? I don't know anything. This is a great level. <laughs> I hope so. It looks cool. Is there not anything else here? Am I being tricked? <laughs> Her sidestep made me think of the extremely funny way that Harry Mason moves in Silent Hill 1. Now you can make him do like a little dance. Uh, why is the door not open? I thought that I hit the switch. Perhaps I was mistaken? Yeah, it's just that fucked up bug. I don't know why this version of the game has that bug where, like, hitting the switch will make doors open and then close. I would get mad at my friend when he would make Harry Mason dance. Oh, it's just timed! That's why the blocks are movable. Okay. Understood. I understood the assignment. Are 
Are you mad because the game is serious and they were not taking it seriously? <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I get frustrated when I like something a lot and people don't take it seriously. I think Harry Mason could hit a modified two-step or pop and lock to calm down. He always seems pretty damn calm in that game. I think that the only time he shows any, like, physical symptoms of, like, not being calm is when Kaufman shoots at him. And he does, like, a ridiculous little animation. You're in the labyrinth, you don't really stop to question things. The labyrinth. And the first rule of Labyrinth Club is you don't really stop to question things. Ugh. I finished my coffee. That's so true. Thank you. For agreeing with me. I did it. Oh! Uh... Uh, man coming! Barrel? Squiggling worm water. <gasps> no! I could not escape the pull of fan. I don't think that I saved after I moved all those damn boxes. Yeah, just fuck me, I guess. Ugh. A little mirror go. Pokemon mirror go to the poles. I wish there was a quake exploding animation when you get gunched by a fan. It would be cool. I'm a big proponent of jibs. Pokemon mirror go to the poles. Yeah. That's what I said. You don't- you- do you think that's not funny? She's not- Oh, okay, here we go. Monday talked about playing SNK fighters before stream, and now I can only think about that. <laughs> I'm not thinking about Tomb Raider at all, I'm just thinking about I might get to play King of Fighters or something later. Might get to play some game featuring, uh, what's that guy's name? Ryo? The guy who's like a parody of Ryu. I literally cannot stop thinking about Yamazaki, why? <laughs> I just can't get over how much he looks like Robbie Rotten in his art. He's Robbie Rotten. I almost loaded the game. He is in my blood. Doesn't sound too healthy. Raffi, earlier I met a filmmaker friend from Nike for dinner. He talked to me for 40 minutes about how hard he had to give up trying to beat Dark Souls 3? Why? That game is easy as hell. Ryo is a ripoff of Ryu. Robert Garcia is his best pal. Dan is a parody of R Ryo plus Robert Garcia. Isn't Robert... He's based on, like, S Sylvester Stallone or something? I think I might be the only gamer he knows, so it was a moment of great catharsis. He also couldn't beat Gyobu Oniwa in Sekiro. I mean, the first time I played that game, I had trouble with him. 
Alright, so what's the strat? What are we doing? Okay, the barrels do not affect thugs. They're immune to barrels. Talked to you for 40 minutes. I'm just realizing how long 40 minutes is. How far did he get in Dark Souls 3? That game is really easy. Right, we're away from fan. Do I want to get onto the plane? Or... Like, can, can I? Oh yeah, there's like a little hole? Oh no, there's not. Interesting. He was saying the boss run to the Lothric twins was what filtered him. The boss run? Oh yeah, that is pretty annoying. Hey, all Grizzly. All right. He also said all the bosses were easy, but that part was filled with mini bosses. You just run through. Just walk out. So proud of my normie coworker getting into Dark Souls 1 and whiteboarding out a diagram of Undead Bird. That's awesome. One of the best level designs ever. Hey, sorry, bro. What are you doing? I don't fucking know what to do. Um, let's dive. And is there anything I can climb on over here? Remastered graphics, help me out. No, it's just ugly. I don't believe I can- yeah, I cannot pull myself out of the water by that. I played through Dark Souls 3 start to finish with a buddy in co-op. He played the game before and made a character based on Kuwabara. <laughs> uh. Just run through is a behavior you have to be taught like a mother teaching her cubs to hunt. That is true. I mean, it's not obvious. I mean, you know, think about it. Most games, you want to fight everything, right? And it's like, I paid money for this game. I'm going to fight enemies. Uh, What is this location? Now. Okay, Lara says no. The fucking the Beagle Boys are busting my ass. I can't go through there. Barrels did nothing. I'm dying. If I go over there, I will die. Oh, there's a lever! Okay, we load the game and we go to lever. This week, I've played through Dark Souls 2 six times. What? How? Including the DLC? That game's long as fuck. She's baiting me. What? Who? Why? Oh, Nico. What are you doing? Two brainer. No brainer. All right. Is that? Uh, I'm just like really got sucked silly there. All right, let's let's try that again. A casual playthrough is about three hours plus the first DLC with each character. You're making new characters. You're not doing new game plus.
can't see anything. This is really nerve-wracking. Why does this game have to be so fucking scary with all the swimming through tunnels? It's just fucked up. She's about to drown. Okay, we survived. Jesus Christ. Why does it have to be so scary? This is like a rain world. This is awesome. No, it's scary. I'm horrified. I have my specific reasons. Are you invading Amos? I bet you are. I bet you are putting him through some fucking pranks. Alright. Button. Okay. I bet we are going to immediately get our guns back as soon as we get in there. <laughs> Games that are like nightmares where you are drowning in a small cave full of water. Tomb Raider 2. Rain World. Someday I'd like to try and play Rain World. I have already seen the ending though, because I watched you play it. Is this like System Shock 1 hacking sequence? I wish. Those were so good. I wish I liked that game more, but it was just simply too painful. The way Rhea talks about Rain World is so scary. It's the ultimate game. The ending to hard mode is better? Really? Graffy's trying to make it seem like only a drooling ignoramus wouldn't want to fight every enemy in front of them in a game, and that my behavior is a mark of a troublingly abnormal villain. No. I, it did trouble me the first time that you talked about how you didn't fight anything unless there was an enemy in front of a door, and then you would unequip your weapon and punch them out of the way. <laughs> okay. neither confirm nor deny anything, but it was funny to see him ask if there was a scraping spear equivalent in the game. His chat telling him no, and then him getting scraping speared. <laughs> you devilish man. Scraping spear is awesome. Scraping spear would go viral. Can I move these? Somehow. No, oh, please don't zoom in on Lara's boxy ass. I want Rhea to become a game tester. I want people with crip boards scratching their heads at her antics as she walks back to the first town of the entire game. Apropos of nothing. What does this look like in Remaster? Oh, look, you can just see everything. It looks like Turok. Enamored with the concept of people putting playtesters in like a laboratory. Maybe we would get better playtesting out of it. Love these like early 3D games where you board a large vehicle like a boat or an airplane. It's always very exciting. Ugh. Like, it feels significant, right? right? Let's see, can I just like backflip on there? There's like this yellow paint here that seems like a, hey, you, look. Even though the people on Twitter will tell you, you put yellow paint on everything, how dare you. I'm gonna get really mad about it. Yellow paint? Hello, <laughs> expedited delivery. 
light source over the exit door. Unthinkable. Everything should be realistically lit in a way that makes it impossible to tell where anything is. So what is the idea here? What? Uh... Alright, for one thing, what was the breaking glass noise? And, uh... <laughs> was I supposed to phase through the propeller? Why, why is it the glass breaking sounds? The yellow paint outrage was so vicious. People were really upset. The window? The guys broke it? Oh! Huh? Why didn't I get hurt? And also, why am I up here? Ah! My guns! Uh -huh. You guys think Lara Croft is kind of pretty? No, not particularly. Hi, G Pool. She's just kind of like a fantasy woman. I think she's kind of petty. She should get over her grudges. <laughs> Grudge have her. I'm not hitting that man. <laughs> I pancake. <laughs> what interesting messages. Am I hitting that guy? Huh. Oh, he's on the move. I'm hitting him. Where'd he go? Graphic, I can't stop seeing. The sun in the sky is red. The sun in my heart is Mao Zedong. I am not here. I was attempting to change windows. Oh, okay. Where did that guy go? I'll just save and then jump over there. Very sorry. Yeah, you should be. It'll take me years to forgive you for this, Pancake. Where'd those men go? Oh, there's one. I hear them crunching around. Oh, he died. I thought there was a third man for a second, but no. What's that? Uh -huh. Huh? Key card? That's healing. Uh -huh. Okay. We made progress. Ain't that exciting. Sadly, I feel our technology is too primitive to Doppler this alarm noise, although I really want to. Chocolate bar? I wish. <laughs> Yellow piss card. Is this the circuit board? Are you still eating too much chocolate? Oh, you know it. 
all day week month year and century I just killed Velstat started focusing on your stream and ran through the wrong door into the waiting arms of 12 122,121 cyan knights I don't even remember who Velstat is I love your big snacks chip squad <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best videos of all time. I will suck big dick all day, week, month, year, and century. Flaka. Oh, you know, Flaka came before that part. Have you heard of this guy named Gnarl Vinland? He's nothing like that guy. Oh. <laughs> of course. The yellow key card panel runs Doom, and you have to get an in game yellow key card to operate it. That's a fun idea. You know, he was originally meant to be called Charles Vinland? Gnarls Vinland? Did I ever tell you guys about. There was this, uh. Whoa! Nah! No! Let me out! No! No! Please, no! 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 Where'd they go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Charles Entertainment Vinland. <laughs> no, you never told us about that. I was gonna say, there's a kid in my, um, in high school, in my, like, um, I don't know what you would call it, like, video editing kind of class, uh, who made the AMV of Final Fantasy X using Crazy by Gnarls Barkley as the music, and he was so proud of it, it was so wonderful. He was like showing everybody in class at the computer, uh -huh. like video production, I guess. I was a horrible. Have I have uh -huh. I talked about this before? I was like a just I was a horrible student, and I was. I just any time I had an assignment, it was like I wanted to do it wrong in like the most egregious way possible. <laughs> um. And. I'm rooting for him, honestly. The person who made the AMV? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, but we had like an assignment to record like an interview, and we were supposed to like use the video editing software to cut it together like a oh, dog, like a real interview. Um, there was a man. Oh, rifle. He's dead. Okay, anyway, we were supposed to, uh -huh. like, record an interview and cut it together. Um... Like it was a real interview. And... I don't remember who was interviewing who, but I, it was just, like, nonsense. It was like, oh, I taught my dog to play drums by hiding treats inside the drums, and he just, like, gums around and bangs on them because he can smell them. He's trying to get them out. And then when I cut it together, I used like every effect possible in the program. It would just have like <laughs> lightning shooting between the two people who were talking. <laughs> it was just like chaos and just like speeding it up and slowing it down <laughs> at random. And when the teacher went to show the videos to the class, like <laughs> when he played our video, he just played it and he didn't say anything. 
and just went on to the next one. <laughs> I really wish I could get this now, except that it would have like 15 year old graphy in it, and that's, uh, that's something that nobody wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the mark of genius. I don't know about that. What grade did you get? I, I think I passed the class at least. <laughs> I cannot remember the grade. All that I remember is that he just did not say, he did not remark on it at all. He did not say a single word. <laughs> Cut it together like a dog. You have to take the dog's legs and the dog's blood and throw them into the coffin. Oh god. Uh. Man, these guys suck. I hate these men. I'm dead. He wanted more lightning bolts. He was just terribly disappointed. Wish we had shotgun. Well, I'm gonna go back here. There was all those barrels. Do I want to shoot those barrels? Do you think he really liked it and felt he couldn't laugh or say anything because he didn't want to belittle the serious effort of the other students? And the other students did not have very serious effort. And there was like actually like, oh, there's these horrible kids. I mean, they were like, uh, I don't know. There was this one kid who had a face like a pig, and he and his little gang of boys would always come to class, and they would be chewing, uh, chewing tobacco, and spitting the horrible, nasty tobacco spit into, uh, like a can of Arizona tea to hide the fact that they were chewing tobacco, and they were just, like, always, like, fucked up on, like, drugs and stuff. And there was one time that that kid just, like... I just remember him running down the hallway, and he did this little skip, and then he <laughs> fell it was flat on his face and just, like, slid down the hallway. I think that he might have been on pills or something. <gasps> <sighs> now I'm dead. He, they were horrible, and they did, they did a video where they, were like, had some really grotesque, like, sexually explicit stuff in it that was, like... I think that 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 maybe saved my video because that was like the more abhorrent video. Um, you know what's funny is like as I get older, these memories are becoming more and more fuzzy. It's like a little bit sad, but I don't really want to remember high school very much. Like, my most, um, clear memories of high school now are just being in, like, senior year and reading, like, Neuromancer and falling asleep in class because I was just not going to do anything. Man, he has fallen on the ground. Uh -huh. There's a video that I can, probably can't find because there's very few views on YouTube, but it's like some small scale municipal bridge replacement project. And whoever they tasked to make the video info video just went ham on the effects, and it's great. This maximum hype for the most mundane thing. That's wonderful. I love locally produced like video like that. And look at the playing cards, that's pretty cute. That's some, like, Doom Cute type of stuff right there. And these- look at the mugs, where the open part of the mug just looks like they scribbled? Why does it look like that? It- it looks so shabby. Whoa, sorry. What's that? Bolt cutters? Uh -huh. A harpoons? 
They look like Raulio re triangles? I don't know what that is. Uh huh. There was one night that Augersley and I were hanging out and we started watching some random video on YouTube and it was like a school board meeting for a random school in Florida. Wow, we're in like an ocean of crude oil out here. Nice place to put your oil rig. Um, and that was like really bizarre. Like they had like an entire chorus of children come out to sing Halls of Montezuma. And then like they had a debate about like allowing cell phones at school or something like that. And there's just like all these community members coming on to give these like really incoherent statements and stuff. <laughs> it was pretty good. Look at these bunks. Some big men laying in this. Look, if Lara laid down, she would have like five feet of space. Between her feet and the end of the bunk, you know? Maybe these guys have got it pretty good here. The one guy who praised the students and then ran out of the building was insane. <laughs> he... I, I couldn't really tell, like, what kind of point he was making. It was very... odd. Okay, trapdoor. Insane recreational activity. It was fun. That video just never stopped getting better. It was very long, too. <laughs> Counterpart to the Resident Evil Dead aim bunks, yeah. Umbrella not paying top dollar to their crew. Where are the little slender bathtubs? Oh, there's the the automatic pistols. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. No. 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 Wait, is there any more items around? <laughs> oh, harpoon gun. Uh huh. What the fuck? No. Whoa! Ah, uh, camera. I wonder if this is any good. Interesting. I'd like to heal. Thank you. Consume all those medical supplies. Alright, and is there anything up here? There was like a secret earlier in the level, but I couldn't... I didn't know how to get in there. Now, can you climb this? Is wall a climbable item? <sighs> now, how do I get in there? Is that even climbable? Huh? Is there... No, there's nothing I can, like, pull. What? Uh... What, what, what do I do? Anything in the HD graphics? Want to tell me what to do? No. 
I like the ambiance here. It's just like squeaking metal and like industrial rumbling and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, we got the harpoon gun, but I don't think that's gonna help us solve any damn problems. Offshore pig squeals. What are... What are we doing? What? Like, what am I doing? Why is that? There's like a switch that opens a trapdoor that I can't reach. Find an adult wearing the store's work uniform and let them know you got separated. Separated? Mechanically separated? Oh man, this game is really like, uh, it's a puzzle game that happens to have shooting. And the puzzles, they're pretty fucking confusing. We're always going on about getting mechanically separated. I've never talked about that before. No. Yeah, even, see? She says no too. No. Yeah. Do I have to do like a running jump from the top of the bunk? The yellow pain betrayed us. Speaking of the pain, I wanna... I want to play MGS3 again sometime. These barrels aren't the regulation red. I don't know if they explode. I'm not totally sure. If they don't, it's totally understandable and they're within their rights. Oops, I didn't turn around like I thought that I had. You can like sort of control her. Um... Whoops, I tried to go backwards, but I did the opposite of that. Yeah. Uh. I think I could get up there. Just, it looks awkward. <laughs> That's the problem. That's a good game. Wait, what was it? I forgot it. can't remember anything. MGS3? Oh yeah. I haven't played it in so long. You were going Lily Ho Woozy mode. I had too much caffeine. By which I mean a full cup of coffee. Like, at all. Lily Ho Woozy. Oh. oh, okay. I'm just the clown. The Tears of Clown. How about The Pocket of a Clown by Dwight Yoakam? Inside the pocket of a clown. Whoa! Okay, I'm dead. Let's try that again. Shut up about Dawit Eckbert. Why? Do you not like him? He's an old meme. He's not. He's one of the best selling country stars of all time. Okay, no, it was death fire. I think it was the fall that killed me, but the fire was just there to scare me. I was thinking the harpoon gun could be a grappling hook? That would be cool. That's like something you would get from 007 Agent Under Fire. Which is 
a great game, by the way. At least for multiplayer. That was a cool game. One of my first PS2 games. I think I played it on GameCube. I didn't like the driving sections. I mean, those were like <laughs> kind of rotten, but the rest of the game was like super cool. I can't believe how violent Rhea's response to me talking about Dwight Yoakam was. <laughs> Greedra, what are you doing? <laughs> no. I didn't want to do that. Remember how impressed Drop was that I could pronounce Dawa Echbert? I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it right anymore because it's been so long since that meme. It's a year one meme. Oh, we clambering. I really like how her climbing does not correspond to the rungs of the ladder at all. It's just the ladder represents a climbable surface. Oh! Did he drop? Red key card! Lucky day. Um. Alright. <clears throat> Where are we going now? What's down here? At the end of this metal tunnel, there's like a ladder? To... Wire. That's ladders in Genshin, where walls are climbable. This looks awesome. You know, the games from this time period, the um, use of like these 2D transparent textures to create like this sort of like a greater sense of like depth and complexity to what is like very simple geometry is so cool. I always thought this is like the coolest thing in old games. They use it a lot in like Doom as well. I don't know, it's very stimulating. It just looks so cool. Don't like uh, modern renderers have like kind of some trouble with this kind of thing? Like I remember using Unity back in like 2013 maybe, which of course is 11 years ago now. And I just remember if you tried to overlay like um, three layers of like uh, transparent textures like this, uh, the renderer did not like it and could not figure out how to sort them properly so that they would why did she not grab onto the ladder weird <laughs> me pogging when they make the inside of a character's mouth a transparent texture when viewed from the side so it looks like a 3d space what What? Love that old style map making. This is wonderful. <laughs> we'll very slowly clamber down. Mega Man Legends? Weren't they just textured on, though? It's 
So it looks. Oh, you mean like it's floating in front of their face, kind of? Graphy climbers. I'm crazy climber. I'm a speedy runner, crazy driver. Water. Oh. It was that. You know what? I, I think I know what that did. I've got an inkling. Who left their priceless dragon statue up there? Certainly couldn't be Greedra. Umi! Squiddy! Oh, Umi. Oh, it, it didn't do what I thought. I thought that lever might have turned off the fan. But no. It did not. So what did that do then? Why is the alarm back on? I guess it's only on over there? I wonder what that lever did. How? What? No. Oh, shut up. That's so annoying. I've not played Splatoon 3 at all. I don't want to give Nintendo any more money. I hate them. weapon seems terrible. What? <laughs> Why is... Am I, was I supposed to be excited about the harpoon gun? Also, why do I have less no. ammo than I had before? I don't? You were tossing straws. <laughs> it really looked like that. They were so pathetic. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be used underwater? Is that the idea? Makes me think you'll need to use it to kill like one shark at some point and never use it again. Yeah. Seems that way. That's probably it. It makes sense. Harpoons underwater. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Graphy. Am I supposed to be excited about the harpoon gun? Lara Croft? No. No. Mm, no. You like that death. Uh -huh. I like the misery. Uh, 
no. You can't push. Try pushing block. Uh, try pushing block to use. Rapid fire her saying no? No, it won't let me. No. 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 That's as fast as I can go with it. Sadly. Dang, yeah. I wish it could be a little bit faster too. This looks um suspicious. A little swatch of wall. Why did I move that? What was the point of that? Come to my college graudation May 27th I invite you. <laughs> graudation. Thank you for subscribing for 11 months, Bep. I'll... I'll be there. <laughs> Certainly. Graudation. Hey, wait a second. You can, like, see out into the skybox if you look into this grating, like, horizontally. That's really strange. Graffy will be there, like a shadow in the crowd. I'll just be, like, a dark shape. Congratulations on finishing school, Pep. It's not easy to do. It really isn't! Yeah, there's a lot of frustration and tears. I guess the edges of those platforms don't exist from the inside. I think that it just me. it must be like, uh... Ah! It must be like, um, the whole block is like designated as transparent, and so there's like, no... How would you even say this? There's nothing there! I don't want to see it. I'm too sleepy, guys. Is that death? No. Looks like a sewer pit. I'm assuming we have to turn on the water. Sleepy coffee. Speedy Egbert. Oh. Jumped right up in there. Alright. There's like, really no way to avoid a lot of the damage in this game, is there? <laughs> there is something up there, but I don't know how I would get to it. <laughs> what did he drop? Shotgun shells. You know, they're dropping shells. I wonder if that means I'm supposed to have a shotgun. I feel like these should have a sound effect of like coming out of them. If you're gonna have a computer panel, 
you might as well. What does this do? Oh. <laughs> it's not even an animation for it. It's just suddenly there's water. Congratulations. Alright. How do I get up there? You need to make the sounds with your mouth like in Half-Life? What do you mean? Like in Half-Life? They should all say, hey kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. I'm not going to accept that loss of health. This level is pretty infra coded. I'm kind of into it. Well, the Opera House was cool, but this is like a more playable level. <sighs> Look at how many polygons in that object. Impressive. Impressive, Snake. When NPCs press keys, and it makes the beep sound. You can see their mouth open? What? <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> it rotates my ears around. <laughs> uh, duh, what did that accomplish? Seems like fuck all um, from my perspective. Oh, I go here? Why is there a switch here? What is? Uh, okay, then we'll go back there then. Magi a record season two, but I don't remember anything that happened in the first season. I don't even know if it matters. Bogey a record. World record. I just want to see Ume Aoki's uh, character designs move around. There's like some panting sounds. Oh! Whoa! Ah! No! <laughs> what? <laughs> These harpoons are like the outcast bullets. <laughs> From the sounds they made, I thought they were monsters. Yeah, they kind of looked like monsters at first. I was like, what is this? Like a genetically engineered, like a uh, hammerhead shark or something? 
You get way too many souls from killing Bonfire Intensity 2 Giant Lord, Graffy. I might have totally ruined this character's SM. This is the cost of my greed. Why'd you get greedy? Can't you just like hack the character to like reduce it? I never hack. Okay. Then I guess you'll just have to suffer from your greed then. I was trying to walk. And the game said no. Get out of the water, baby. He's dead. Extremely dead. All right. I hate hacks and poisons. Whose uh, alt account was that? That's so depressing. The martial arts guy. And poisons? We don't hate your poisons, don't worry. Huh? Who's shooting at me? Uh -huh. Ah! Where the hell did that guy even come from? What? Two? Oh. Why did I drown? It was me. I'm sorry. This whole time. Don't believe her. She's just saying that because she wants you to fall into despair. Don't buy that crap. Who the fuck? Alright. <sighs> despair! Rhea's alt account has made me fall into despair! A joke for anime fans or otasu. I'm otasu. What is that? What is that even a reference to? Clearly, you are not Otasu. Oh, my, my apologies. Sayonara Zetsu Bo Sensei. Oh, okay. This bear. I love that little bear. It is so funny. What the hell kind of workplace is this anyway? They got walkways that don't make any damn sense and you gotta jump all around over the place and climb all over stuff. Oh. Do I want to go over there, or...? Uh -huh. Oh! Shotgun! Finally! Where are guys shooting me? Uh -huh. 
wonder when we get Uzi. <gasps> okay, he's dead. Um, let's eat this. <sighs> this game is so like um taxing. Like you, you feel like you are doing the moves alongside Lara Croft. Hey, look, there's another like transparent chunk of block where you can just like see through. What's that? Great, we got our favorite sound back. You all happy about that? Everybody happy about that noise? Sounds like we're in a gymnasium. <sighs> okay. Where the fuck is this? Oh, back here? But I didn't get whatever I was supposed to get. This is the problem. We have to go back. Because I need a green like key or something green bean i didn't get that thing is so annoying at times. <sighs> I have to like really believe that I want to play this game. Like it is very cool. It's also a huge pain in the ass. Love this game. Really test your patience. Yeah, it's definitely this game. <laughs> Certainly testing my fucking patience. Again, I'm really like flabbergasted that this is a like a multi-million. This is like a double platinum kind of game. This is like one of the <laughs> biggest games of its time, and it's it's like this it is totally twisted. Oh, now we get another damn alarm. Alright. Now... I want to get that little idol. What I love is how quiet it is. You being, uh, you making joke? Because of the loudest sounds? I'm making truth. Oh, you mean like because there's no music? You hate music in games. Where's the men? Oh, there. hate music, period. We all know this about you. <laughs> One of Rhea's most salient traits. These poor 
poor men. They were not trained for the possibility that someone would go onto a different platform and shoot them from across the room. They can't swim. They were sent out there to die on this little platform surrounded by water. Not twisted. Get it? Twisted. Let's get that. Uh -huh. Is there any other item here? Man. Oh, a crow. Oh, wait, no, not a crow. A robin? On the power line outside my window. It's looking around. Yes. What are you looking for? What do you want in this world? It's looking down here. Inquisitively. Oh, Robin, won't you come into my room? American Robins are so interesting. Cool type guys. You guys have a different Robin? There's like nothing else in the water down here. Is there? I don't know. It seems like a prime place to put a secret, but I don't know. I'm too lazy to look for it. I think that Tomb Raider 1 might have been like a better game than this. At least just based on what I've seen so far. European robins, they're smaller. Are they little peeping bird size? I DM'd it to you. Let me negotiate this platform. Then I'll look. That's European Robin. Let me see this. Well, the European one is cuter. It looks fluffier. I'm so lazy. Are in the old world flycatcher family. Muskisipidae, while American robins are thrushes. Turdidae. I'm really gonna call a bird that. You're probably the laziest big ham roasting in the oven right now. I'm not really roasting. It's not hot in here. I'm watching them peep about in the snow in the winter. They're like a winter bird? Here, robins are like the avatar of springtime. Whoa, the big ham! Big ham. Try to match the ranger with the big ham on his hip. Big ham on his hop? Oh, why am I so tired? I had coffee. <laughs> Here they are associated with winter. They bundle up in their big warm coats. That's why they are so fluffy stout type of guys. Coffee always makes me exhausted. We've discussed this. Yeah, but I mean, isn't that the product of caffeine addiction? Uh-huh. 
It's because it's a delicious hot drink that lets you calm down. Is it? This is so Half-Life. This whole sequence of events. I wonder if Half-Life was influenced by this game. It's gotta be, right? Alright, so why did I do that? What? 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 Why did I? Why? Why did I? Why did I? Why did I do all that? What? Okay, I understand now. You know what this needs? More scientists falling off of ledges. And getting jibbed. By the big ridiculous device with like the spinning blades in that one area. The developers of this are also the Asterix and Great Rescue guys if memory serves. Are your favorite game. <laughs> Maybe that's why there are so many barrels in this game. Barrel. This game should have a horse. <laughs> and it kicks you and has a very strange hitbox. Guys, look, they put they put yellow paint so that you know where to go in the tunnel. Isn't that so shitty of them? so fucked up that every guide for the game lied. I, I don't know if it was so much that they lied, it's just that they didn't know. Oh. Um, what a head-scratching end to a level. Why did it end right there? Uh. <laughs> their whole studio should be dissolved for even looking at the color yellow. Wish the water was in this was like Mario 64. I want Lara to do a up warp. A porp? Graphy 29 head scratcher. Oh, it's still oil rig. We are still on the oil rig. Do I want to keep playing this right now? I'm a little disgruntled with this game at the moment. That wasn't even a bad level, but I just I feel a little frustrated with just like the, the pacing of the game today, I think. It ended like that because it didn't end. Yeah, Oil Rig Zone Act 2. Monday 14 Humdinger. Rhea H1 Knee Slapper. Ah, I want to play, um, ah, Enchanted Arms. We'll play more of this tomorrow. I want to play Enchanted Arms. We haven't played that in like two weeks or something. Alright. Yay! <laughs> you excited about that? I didn't know if anybody actually wanted to see more of that game or not. Let me see about sending out the bulletin who the fuck is this the streaming owl i did the streaming owl favorite my post about tomb raider 2 um I want it more than anything. Why? 
I don't think I've seen it at all, so sell me on it. Duh. It's a very odd game. Does not particularly care for the combat and enchanted arms, but the stories and characters are cool. I love the voice acting. It has like some S tier voice acting for the time period. <laughs> Who is the streaming owl? I get it. So. How is there 477 people following this category? Why is the voice acting so good? I don't know. <laughs> Um, I don't, oh yeah, since it's a capture game, it means that the capture is going to handle the uh, volume. All right, hold on a second. Oh god, I almost pulled my stuff off my desk. All right, hold on a second. I think it is. So. Because acting is a fake art, so it's totally random if it's good or not. What are you talking about? What the hell does that mean? There's 269 achievements for the Tomb Raider a Remastered Collection. Why, why are there so many? <laughs> That's completely ridiculous. You guys want to watch some copyrighted materials on Pluto TV? Hello, Cherry Scampers. It's for achievers. Overachievers. Uh, where is... Uh, where's the capture? I have so many captures. This is ridiculous. I still have a capture for normality. Get that crap out of here. And a capture for pseudo regalia. We're not playing those anymore. It's over. No more. 